Okay. I feel sick. Let me just look around. Anything? It's pretty dark. Is this supposed to be like you're on stage and it only... The light is only in this one spot, maybe? That's the idea, the artistic choice. <laughs> Did you enjoy the meal? It was a fine wine. Eh? Christine, no need to be shy. How was your meal? Yes, yes, it was delicious. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. Very nice. I'm, I'm sorry, I'll never make the same mistake again. <laughs> you may have been a little too nervous. Let's try again. Yes, that's... Ah, one moment, please. My head is spinning. Take it easy. I will lay you down. <laughs> I will lay you down? No, then he will watch over me again. Eric, that's not necessary. Oi! Oh, this is going great. This is how you charm a lady, guys. <laughs> It's not! Please don't do that, okay? How are you doing? Let me know if you need anything. I want to get out! Is that not a movie? Get out! Christine? Sorry, I was deep in my thoughts. I am... I would very much like to hear you sing. I do not wish to sing Faust. However, if you wish, I could sing another song for you. Oh, Solomio! Der Vogelfänger bin ich ja stets lustig. Hi, sops, sops. It's so, it's a very upbeat song in this situation. Yes, I find much joy in reading novels and have ever since I was a child. Made up stories are ever so dull. You are a made up story. You'll find stories of my life much more interesting. Ugh. Only a few books are worth reading. Oh, he's one of those guys. For example, the Divine Comedy. Have you read it? Yes, I read the Inferno part. <laughs> it has my favorite line from the Divine Comedy. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. This is his favorite line? All right. Just like that, five days had passed. Hooray! Hussah! Ah, my goodness, there's a note. A note! Divine Comedy. Ah, yes. Divine Comedy was written in 14th, the 14th, the 14th, the 14th century by an Italian poet Durante di Alighiero de... What the fuck? Durante di Alighi Alighiero degli Alighieri and was commonly known as Dante Alighieri. I think I know that name, but not the long one. In Divine Comedy, the narrative describes Dante's, who shares the same name as the author himself, travels through the afterlife. Oh, I think I heard about that one. Dante meets historical and mythical characters of the past and discusses theology and philoso philosophy with them. The author raises questions about the widespread ideas of the time, criticizes the corrupt and describes a life after death through Dante. Of course, he not only wrote about past figures of his time, but contemporary figures as well. How? By introducing his political enemies in the Inferno part and causing them to suffer the most hellish pain. Oh, great. In summary, the Divine Comedy is a brilliantly nuanced and moving allegory of knowledge and Dante's ideas. Of course, he is inevitably bound by medieval perceptions of his time, but... Dante narrates through Divine Comedy on how to live in pursuit of eternal bliss. Are you familiar with Auguste Rodin's sculpture The Thinker? This piece is a part of Rodin's work The Gates of Hell, inspired by Divine Comedy's Inferno part. The gate is engraved with a phrase from Divine Comedy. It reads, Abandon hope all ye who enter here. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. I think I heard about that, but I never read it myself. I really want to now. <laughs> I have to look it up, but I won't read it in English. I will only read that in German because it sounds like a complicated book or a bit heavier on the literature side. You're back. <laughs> oh, you look troubled. Do you detest being with me? Tommy! Um, no. It's more that I feel suffocated being trapped in here all this time. 
There's no window or clock anywhere, so I have no way of even knowing what time it is. Sounds like hell. That's terrible. You mentioned before that you'd send me back up. Then are we in the basement of some place? Hmm. This is the underground area of the opera house. Really? There's such an area underneath the opera house? No one told me about this place. <laughs> Earthly beings are not aware of my kingdom. And they will never know. Oh. Anyways, the five days I promised to you have passed. Now I shall return you from whence you came. This is the underground kingdom I built for myself. But she was missing for more than five days. So something must happen now. Or he lies to her or something. Because she's not back up. This is the underground builder, builder kingdom I built for myself. If you get lost, you may lose your life. So hold my hand tightly. Ah! <laughs> yeah! <sighs> the way it was drawn, man. I love it. It was just a... Yeah. So very cold. Feels as though I'm holding hands with a corpse, not a living person. This dude is scary, man. <laughs> Are you surprised? Still, you do not seem disgusted. What? Yeah, why would I be? Just, you're cold, man. Maybe you should wear gloves to, to warm you up. My room is on the way out. I'll let you have a look at it. Oh, hooray! My, I see you're not ready for this. Rest a little and then come to my room. Oh, goody. <laughs> the mask stayed behind. His body's always the first thing disappearing and then the rest of him stays. <laughs> it's very funny. It looked like he looked at us, but when he left the room, he was like... Like an owl. Eh. Alright, is there anything else? Any other footnote we have that appears? Nope, no footnote. I must go through that room. Alright, then let's fucking go. Go in Eric's room. Ah. Welcome. To Jurassic Park. <laughs> da -da -da -da. He plays that on the or organ. Da -da -da -da. Welcome to my room, Christine. It's very cozy, as you can tell. <laughs> like, why is there... Hey! Oh, Frank. <laughs> it's just the two skulls. Ah, there's another one. Hey, they're having fun. The skull from... The, the bonehead from, from the last unicorn. Man, that dude was mad funny. Welcome to my room. Anyways, I can, uh, it can actually be quite interesting. Would you like to take a look around? Look around, look around. They look the same, this one and this one, but for some reason this one looks a bit more serious than this one, but it's only when you... Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> come, don't be afraid. I will guide you through. So here's my bed, and when friends come over, mommy allowed me to stay up longer, and then we can read a few books, and then you have, you know... Okay. I'll never get used to the smell of this room. <laughs> he just kind of slides over. Weep. Weep. Um, I can tell what kind of book it is just from the title. Wee, wee, wee. Ah, there's a door here, alright. Let's just look around Eric's room, okay. You can look at this, no? Okay. <laughs> it just floats behind me, it's weird. What are all these music scores? Why are they all written in dark red ink? <laughs> That's not ink, it's blood! Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't know! I hope that's a joke because <clears throat> I thought he was gonna say, you know, oh, you know, it's so dark in here, you can barely see blue ink, so I'm writing in a very bright color. That's all it is. Ah! Oh, my, are you worried about me? My love, there's no need for you to worry. Wait, is it your own blood? Are you. What? If I drew all these music scores with my blood, I wouldn't be standing here before you. Oh my god, that's even worse, man. Oh! Hey, music score written in blood. Hmm. You're reading the music score. There's also one on my desk. You're most welcome to read it. Sure. Oh, how wonderful. This too is written in blood. The title is Don Juan Triumphant. D did you compose it yourself? Yes, I scribble whenever I can. I work in a day and night for 15 days, then leave it for a few months. Ah, it's already been 20 days since I started this piece of music. When I finish it, I'll take it with me into my coffin and never wake again. What? 
Christine. I meant it with the utmost sincerity. Ah, oh, would you care to read the music? Sure. <gasps> My heavens, this music. It's brilliant. It's such a grand, magnificent piece of music, enough to almost forget what it's written with. How can such music exist in this world? These harmonies, how unexpected. I'd give anything to hear this in real life. <clears throat> what are you so engrossed in, Christine? <gasps> such a masterpiece piece written in blood. I've enjoyed reading it. I'm sorry, but would you mind playing me some of Don Juan Triumphant? Eric? As a matter of fact, I do mind. Christine, I love you, but that I cannot do for you. Don Juan of the Spanish legend commits trivial villainy until he meets his doom. <laughs> he is but a failed libertin. But my Don Juan is different, Christine. How different? My Don Juan will embrace you and engulf you in fire! What? Instead of being dragged down to hell by demons like in the legend, my Don Juan will consume you in such virulent and intense emotions. That's kind of sexy. <laughs> oh yeah, it kind of is, I'm not gonna lie. Such sentiments are far too dangerous for an ordinary person like you. But only in fiction. In real life, that's fucked up. But in fiction, this is kind of... Hell yeah. <laughs> kind of getting kind of steamy in here. Only someone who can understand my suffering and sadness can hear this music. Or someone who can read notes, then they could play it, but okay. No, there was never such a person. And there never will be. My lifelong masterpiece will disappear from this world upon my death. God, what a drama queen. But it's too marvelous of a masterpiece to suffer such a fate. Then are you saying that you can't understand my life? A normal person like you? How could you possibly understand my deepest, darkest pain? I... Sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned it. Though you speak recklessly and wound my heart, I shall keep my promise. Oh. Is there anything else you're curious about in this room? Are you not enjoying yourself? Oh no, I'm having a grand old time, bro. Ugh. I once read this opera house was used to imprison communes prisoners a decade ago. Th that skull, could it be of one of them? You believe that I found this somewhere in the opera house? <laughs> you truly think I would do something so dull? Oh my god. He's just like casually committing murder. Hell yeah. Is there anything more you would like to look at? Oh hell yeah, there are many things I would like to show you. Oh how nice. Um... What do you think? I think a lot of things, bro. Red Riding. Not Little Red Riding Hood. What, Captain? <laughs> um, this statue of an angel. Wasn't it outside the opera house as a decoration? Did he carry the whole statue back in here? <sighs> I could just see him like struggling someone in the middle of the night, you know, walking past some drunk here and it's like, you need help, buddy? And the phantom is like, no, but you will <laughs> need to need it. They killed him, and that's how he got more ink. Um, I see, the statue has caught your eye. Did you sculpt this yourself? Technically, I did not sculpt it. What, what does that mean? I merely took it as payment. So you didn't sculpt it. There's no technically about this. Excuse me? That's my rightful compensation for working in the opera house. Jim just looking at his nails while saying that, like, Yeah, I'm a cool bitch. What kind of work? I've done many things. I did a lot of things. But it's best we do not get into that. <laughs> you don't need to know anyway. Okay. What a dick. Condescending. Now, why don't you take a look at some of the other things? He's like a child. Like, nee, let me show you my toys. Okay, let's look at this. A coffin! Is a coffin comfortable to sleep in? I imagine it is. I mean, I wouldn't want to close it. That would probably f make f me freak out. But I imagine they're very soft, right? I don't know. <laughs> Thank God no one is inside it. It's where he sleeps. Hmm. Ah, this coffin is my bed where I sleep. You sleep in a coffin? <laughs> One has to get used to everything in life, even eternity. 
Okay. <laughs> Eternity! Eternity! Where's this from? Oh yeah, that's uh... It's definitely David Tennant. Yeah, it's uh, uh, um, from Good Omens. Eternity! Eternity? <laughs> Please, look around as much as you'd like. Hello, I'm just gonna sniff your hair real quick. <sniffs> oh, oh god, <laughs> okay. Oh, a pipe organ! So it was an organ. I, my English head, like my brain was correct with it. In German it's an Orgel. And I was like, is organ even right? Because an organ is also something that's in your body, you know? Could it be? <laughs> it's an organ I made when I built this house. Really? You can build... You can build that? A pipe organ? I assume that's difficult to do. How do you build a piano? I never thought about this. Hence, if I wanted, I could make it ring out throughout this opera house. Oh. I... I see. Is there anything you want me to play, my love, for you? Hmm? Nothing particular. Then I shall play the most special song for my most honored guest. This music. Such an evil devil. But it was so nice. <laughs> oh, do you like it? I chose this music, which would also be familiar to you. I don't know if he's doing this because he genuinely thinks she would like it, or if he's like, I want to freak you out a bit, you know, a bit teasing-wise. Like, he's, like, intentionally doing this evil. Yeah. Ah, but this time it was different. H how so? Usually I played a funeral march for the dead. But this time, I played it for you, a living soul. Ah! Uh, yeah, he played it when the one dude died or killed himself. And I think he was to blame for that too. Forgot the name of the guy. Um, does it mean that he played the funeral much before Mr. Bouquet? Before for Mr. Bouquet? Is that what she means? Yeah, that's the guy I meant. Then... How many lives has Eric? I think we're done touring my room. Ooh, footnote. The pipe organ. As, it as its name suggests, the pipe organ is a keyboard instrument comprised of many pipes which create a sound when air is passed through them. Although technically the pipe organ is a keyboard instrument, the mechanism behind the sound is similar to what of a, that of a wind instrument. Okay. Pipe organs feature a very complex and gigantic structure. Each organ is connected to many pipes of varying materials, diameters and lengths to create an equally wide range of tone and pitch. As such, if there is a pipe organ in a room, chances are that the entire room is essentially filled by the pipe organ alone. I'm not sure if that's even an architectural feasible. Uh, I wouldn't know enough to say for sure. Anyway, playing the pipe organ is not just about using your hands and feet, but also familiarizing yourself with its overall structure and usage. In the mid-19th century, the Barker lever was invented to enhance the power to push the pipe organ for a grander, more spectacular and not to mention a more comfortable performance. After that, electronic signals were used to control the organ. Of course, long before then, an assistant had to sit next to the player and activate each device to help with the performance. That sounds like a lot of work to play an instrument. Wow, I never knew that a pipe organ could be so complex. I mean, you always see villains play it, you know? <laughs> it's just, it just looks so easy, <laughs> but apparently no. 